Hey guys, it's Vignesh from Code Android. In this video, we'll see about full screen ad. To demonstrate this, I'm creating a new project called full screen ad with default configuration. To show full screen ad in Android, we need AdMob App ID. To get that, open Google and search for AdMob Android. Open Get Started page. Here, we need to create a Google AdMob account as well as register an app. I already did this in previous tutorial. I will give the link in the description as well as i button on the top right corner. We need to add this code in our project level gradle file. So I am opening the project level gradle file. Inside repositories, I am adding it. Also we need to implement google play service ads. So I am implementing that. In our android manifest file, we need to add this meta tag. For this, we need an AdMob app ID. I already created an app in AdMob, so I'm going to app setting and copying the app ID. In our string.xml, I'm creating a new value called AdMob app ID and pasting the app ID. Now we'll add the meta tag. Open Android manifest.xml file. Inside application tag, we'll paste the meta tag. We need to replace this value with our AdMob app ID. Now, we need to create our full screen ad, which is also known as interstitial ad. In our add mob account, click on add ad unit. Here, you need to select the type as interstitial. I am giving the name as full screen ad mob and click on create ad unit. Copying the ad unit id which I got from here and adding it as a string resource called interstitial ad id. Now, will show the ad once we open the app. First of all, we need to initialize our mobile ads with our AdMob app ID. So, I am copying this and pasting it inside our main activity. Also, replacing this AdMob app ID with our AdMob app ID. Now, we need to create the ad object. Unlike banner ad, we haven't added the ad in our layout file. So, we need to create the ad dynamically. Initializing the add object by passing the context as well as assigning the add unit id. Now we need to load the add. To load add, I am calling load add method. Inside, I am passing add request dot builder. Now we need to show the add when it is loaded. To know the add status, I am adding add listener. Inside, I am overriding a method called onLoaded. This callback will be triggered once the ad is loaded. Inside, I am showing the full screen ad by calling show method. Now we'll launch the application. Sorry, the add unit ID will take some time to activate. I already created a full screen ad in this app. So, I am copying that add unit id and replacing it here. Now we'll launch the application. As we expected, once we open the app, we are able to see the full screen ad. Now, we'll see how to load full screen ad on click of a button. To show that, in the layout file, I am changing the text view to button and assigning id as btn load ad. Also, changing the button text as click me. Setting on click listener for btn load ad. Inside, I am checking if the ad is loaded, then show the ad. In this case, we don't need the listener, so I am commenting out the listener code. Now we'll launch the application. You can see on opening the application, we are not getting any ad. On click of the button, we are getting the ad. Note that if we click the button before ad gets loaded, then the ad will not be shown to the user. That's all for this tutorial guys. If you want to support me, you can do that by becoming a patron at patreon.com slash code android. Hope you like it. I will see you in my next video. Have a nice day.